So this piece of equipment is basically a large air conditioner. This mandates that this building have an operating engineer. Yes. Somebody who has that particular license. That's the training that we do. It's just that we do it, you know, online. We have our apps and things like that. What people don't understand is, if you put enough heat pumps into a building, you will need the same license. Yes. So a system like this, what might be 100 tons of cooling, you just need to have basically 20 tons of food. So it's like four or five decently sized heat pumps. You need to have that license. And on the operating engineer's license, it's not just about this, it's about the generator, it's about the transfer switches, it's about the pumps, it's about the air handlers. It's really like a massive degree in building operations. It's a holistic approach. It's a holistic approach. It even deals with like the elevators, it deals with the fire safety. Because if, if I'm wanting this piece of equipment, which people don't understand, if there's a fire in this room, this could blow up this building. Absolutely. So if you check right outside this uh, door right here, right here, this is an alarm that if there's a refrigerant leak in that system, this alarm should be detecting the refrigerant and start to go off. It should open up vents and ducts inside of this room. If the alarm does not go off, I'm supposed to break that glass right there because that refrigerant is heavier than air. So it can suffocate everybody. That's why we have our breathing apparatus, which is if that alarm goes off, if I come up here and somebody's laying on the floor, I'm supposed to put that mask on. Now all of this stuff, that's why the operating engineer thing is so important because somebody has to be aware of this. Somebody has to be knowledgeable when it comes to all this equipment and say, what happens if this goes on? What happens if one of these people are put in breaks? And unfortunately that's, and it's not, funny thing is it's a New York City license, but the, the people I train here, they get jobs all across the country because they actually have the operating engineer position everywhere. Yeah. It's just they don't have their own certifications. Yeah. So it's, you know, it just amazes me that more people are not aware of this. They don't understand this is how most big facilities operate. And I've never given a, a second of thought to any of this stuff. No. And when that piece of equipment fails, like you have no chip, no cooling for this building. And it's just everybody just complaining. And it's just, so yeah, 